Hey guys, my name is Loveless and we are back with uh, Malito. Or, I'm gonna mess up the name until someone actually corrects me on it. So, probably never correct me on it. Because <laughs> uh, I'll probably be done with this story by then, by the time someone actually corrects me in the chat. But if you do, if you know how to say it, please tell me. That would be nice. Uh, and tell me how to ex to say this title. It's very weird. But it, it's getting so good. I love it. We're getting there. He's going to get saved. Because this has a happy... It's angst with a happy ending. So it's, it's going to have a happy ending. So it's good. Alright, let's get into it. Izuku, I'm going to remove your blindfold now, okay? He felt Vex moving back, and he breathed out shakily as he nodded, cold fingers touching his face, as he felt Vex feel around his blindfold before releasing the knot at the back of his head, his eyesight struggling to focus. And Izuku looked around frantically. He knew logically Kachan was outside like Vex had mentioned, but he still wanted to see him for himself. Izuku had never felt terror as much as he did when Vex told him he had Kachan. He had struggled in his restraints, calling out for what felt like hours after Vex had left. The darkness around his eyes had frightened him. The silk band around his eyes was tight, pressed down along with the headache that never went away. When Vex said he had Kachan outside, Izuku had broke. He begged, wishing to every god he knew that Kachan was okay. He wanted to scream at Kachan. We wanted to call him stupid for trying to save him. Izuku's brain had told him it could have been a lie. A stupid, fucked up way for Vex to get him to cry. But he wouldn't. Couldn't take that chance. Izuku's body felt off. His skin felt foreign. Like it didn't really belong to him. Vex had hugged him and he let himself stay. He didn't pull away. Despite how it made him want to scratch out the skin that had made contact with him, he was so terrified that Vex would go through with his actions and that Kachan would actually let him. He hated himself for feeling weak, and he honestly had no idea how he was going to get himself out of this. He felt like if he sleeps this time, he might actually die. Vex hummed happily upon seeing his eyes, and Izuku hated how he felt like a specimen on display. Cold fingers returned to his face as he rubbed Izuku's dry eyes. He knew what Vex must have been seeing. His eyes felt raw, a familiar feeling after every crank session Izuku had. Vex's tune is the only thing Izuku could hear as he stood up hands grabbing the discarded food, packets, and water which Izuku had finished. He couldn't hear Kachan at all. He wished Vex would shut up. Izuku was so tired. He wanted to know if Kachan was okay. He desperately wished he could see something, any signs. Deku. Not now, Kachan. Izuku felt crazy, getting angry with the voice Kachan, but since he couldn't reach the real one, he would have to do. I'm pissed at you. What the hell? I'm not even fucking real. Okay, then why are you getting angry? Because I'm offended. It sounds so Kachan that Izuku sobbed, making Vex cock his head curiously at him. Kachan, I'm so scared. I know, but you're angry at me, right? For wanting to switch myself with you? Izuku didn't reply, only watched as Vex paced around the room excitedly. All the more you have to get out so you can scold me in real life. He was interrupted when Vex rummaging through a plastic bag, the rustling sound snapped Izuku's head towards him. Vex smiled widely at Izuku as he walked back to him. Izuku noticed how his face had not stopped smiling ever since Izuku started begging. Izuku didn't care. He would beg. He would do anything if it meant keeping Kachan away from this wretched room to keep Kachan from harm. Kachan was the only important thing now. He, he could never bear to see him hurt. But even Izuku had his own limits and he has been teetering on the edge for a while. He's been trying, but it felt like his own sanity was on a thin thread fraying at the edges as Vex continued to pluck at it with every action he did. 
I thought of a new method to play with you, Vex said, his other hand holding a scalpel. Do you want to know why I allowed you to... Do you want to know why I allowed your injuries to recover a bit, Izuku? He asked. Izuku could not answer. He could not get the words out. His fists clenched. Vex seemed to like his response. He lowered the scalpel painfully, slowly, letting it kiss his cuts. Izuku felt the cold metal on his chest, and his heart clenched at the familiar sight. He knew that it was going to hurt. The metal grip was loosening his exhaustion, making his head fuzzy. He was terrified. Terrified for Kachan. Terrified of losing one for all. Terrified of never seeing his mom again. Vex slowly prodding an open cut with the scalpel. You know what I'm going to do? Zuku, look. He forced his head down with the other hand and Izuku watched the tool graze against his scab. This one's already scabbed over. What a work of art. Look at how your blood flows over when I cut it back open. Vex's voice was airy. He teased it, tracing around the cut only to dip occasionally into the wound that was beginning to reopen. Izuku closed his eyes as the wound burned. Isn't it sensitive? Vex said, mouth parting open in amazement at how the scab was barely covering his wound bled anew. It's more painful when I applied new cuts on top of healing ones, isn't it? As he spoke, he pressed down more firmly the scalpel dug under the wound and he tweaked it a bit as if to test the position which the scalpel rested. His angle, he angled the scalpel sideways, gliding along the surface, barely under the skin, instead of cutting down like Izuku expected. Look, I can even remove the skin for you. Izuku cried out. He honestly thought that even without Kachan's supposed life hanging on a thread, he would have given in anyway. His body flared up with pain as his stomach lurched again. For one sickening moment, he thought he might have fainted and never wake up again. Oh God, I could actually die like this. His breathing picked up, panic welling within him. I could die like this and Vex would go for Kachan next. No one would ever find me. He imagined Vex watching his life bleed out of him, then leaving his body there to rot. He thinks maybe Vex would send a picture, just to taunt everyone he loves. He thinks about his mom. His panic made him beg. Please, he choked, his nails digging into his arms. He choked, nails digging into his palms. Please stop. His breath kept hitching as a sting piled on top of the throbbing of his inflamed cuts. His back twisted as he tried to pull away from the scalpel. Vex cackled, this time angling the scalpel such that it faced downward digging in. Izuku felt the scalpel press into the indentation from the previous wound, then down. Vex's other hand sliding down Izuku's back as he writhed, screamed for Mizuku. Remember what I said? He felt the cuffs bite into his wrist as he strained painfully. Ah. His voice cut off with a gurgle of pain. He twisted instinctively, but there was no space to move, especially since Vex had his other hand pressed on against his back. Is this painful? It's painful, isn't it? Oh, Zuku, you look like you're in so much pain. This is the highlight of everything. I was really looking forward to stabbing you. Vex's trembling, disgusted voice filled his ears. Vex poked deeper, and Zuku couldn't keep in his screams, finally letting out his first scream as the scalpel dug through his muscles and just kept going deeper. Fuck, fuck, I can't do this, fuck! You can do this, Deku. Hang in there. He could hear Kachan, his clear voice telling Izuku to hang in there. But Izuku was gone. He wanted to escape. He didn't want to feel this pain. He painted. He could feel drool dripping out of his mouth from the screaming, his throat feeling raw and dry again. 
Vex stopped moving the scalpel, leaving it buried as he leaned in to look at Izuku. He watched as Izuku's chest moved up and down heavily. Oh, Izuku, you look so gorgeous right now. The scalpel moving with your cries of pain, your breathing. Izuku, his mouth now unable to keep any of his thoughts moving, his lips trembling as he begged. Please, stop, I can't, I'm gonna die. His tears dripped down, plopping against his leg as he bowed his head. I wonder if you will continue to make these beautiful cries if I do it to your other runes. He dipped his finger on the blood that kept leaking out and licked it. Izuku screamed harder as he pulled the scalpel out, only to stab it back into another cut. Please stop! I can't... He struggled harder as it sank deep inside again. He wanted it to stop. He wanted to escape from the pain. The pain was all he could feel right now, taking up all of his awareness. There was pain on his chest, pain in his head, his knee. He threw his body weight backwards as if he could avoid the agony that way. But only his head was thrown back from the momentum. He could hear the cacophony of screams as both his mouth and mind begged for him to stop. Please, stop! Azuku, Vex's hand was on his face. Why? Please stop touching me, Izuku sobbed. Izuku, he said firmer this time as he shook Izuku's face, forcing him to train his unfocused eyes on Vex. The face on the man would probably haunt Izuku in his sleep. Vex's eyes were dilated, his mouth parted, and his nostrils flaring. Pants were coming out of his mouth even as he spoke. He looked, he looked like... You want to know something? Kachan isn't actually outside. Izuku, despite feeling like he was going to die, couldn't help the relieved sob that escaped his lips. Kachan. Kachan was okay. Is Vex lying? Izuku couldn't tell. He didn't know what Vex wanted from him. He didn't know why Vex would tell him this now. He felt confused. Tired. At his silence, Vex sighed. I thought telling you that Kachan wasn't here would get a bigger response. Izuku felt a sharp pain radiating from his chest and he remembered. The scalpel is still in his chest. Oh fuck. Izuku was plunged back into white blinding pain and a hoarse scream was squeezed out of his throat as his struggles renewed. Tears leaked out as Izuku's screams kept breaking off at how dry his throat had became. He vaguely felt the scalpel sinking into a new cut, repeating the process, then another, please, and another, please. The thread snapped. His screams cut off halfway, his mind unable to handle the pain. He couldn't get a reprieve. Vex did not stop, would not stop. He felt his mind shut down, a last-ditch attempt escaping the pain. It was like every event had collided in together in his mind, his brain unable to process anymore. He felt limp, head lolling as he blacked out. He was still awake, but he no longer felt anything. He could tell Vex was still digging the scalpel into him. Still, he felt nothing. It felt good, painless. It was like the distant feeling he had felt when Vex kept touching him, but more intense. Number better. In his own head, he didn't have to feel pain or worry of dying. He could just curl up into a corner in his mind, a small figurative human weeping from the boy currently suffering outside. After what felt like forever, Izuku saw Vex removing the scalpel he knew his body was staring blankly at nothing, tears still leaking, mouth parted. Vex seemed satisfied. Izuku saw Vex's mouth move, but he couldn't hear. He felt like he was floating, looking at his body from a third person's point of view. 
He saw Vex poke him, stroke his face. He saw how there was a huge amount of blood. Everything was red. And Izuku knew he should be concerned about how deep his cuts were, but he really couldn't think right now. He felt relieved at the lack of pain. He liked this. It was like the first break his mind had gotten from all the aches and thoughts uh, that he's been having. I can stay like this. Maybe I'll just die quietly like this. Go back! Fucking Deku! Look! Kachan's voice was loud. He sounded urgent. He looked. Bex was taking a picture of him with his phone, using fingers trembling with excitement. His mouth moved with words as he threw the phone onto the floor in glee. The phone was discarded on the side, forgotten in his scrambling to observe the limp body on the floor. Azuku saw how Vex's chest was heaving, and his mouth was open as if he was laughing maniacally. Kachan, I can't. Don't make me go back. Please, I can't. If he could stop mentally, he probably would have. Deku, you can do it. Come on, nerd. Kachan, I can't. Do it. Try. Reluctantly, Izuku forced himself to focus, to feel the hard ground underneath him, the ache. He felt his brain start to fuzz, a ringing in his ears, like he was coming out of a deep sleep he was never in. He willed himself to feel his cuts, the chilliness to see the red around him. I wonder if you'll even respond if I freed you now, he heard Vex say, fingers stroking his green curls again. Izuku almost decided to go back into his floaty state. His arm clasps were removed as he slumped sideways, hitting the floor. Vex looked very gleeful as he sat down, placing his elbow on the floor as he observed Izuku's face. Izuku saw how the phone was lying beside Vex. His fingers twitched. Carefully, keeping his face slacked and his eyes blank, Izuku slowly inched his arm, fingers closing around a familiar solid object. He almost sobbed, but held it in to look like he was still out of it. He covered the phone with his hand, fearing to move in case if Vex saw what he was doing. He did not know how he was going to hide the phone without thinking this, though. He was still disorientated. All he knew was to clutch the phone tightly in his hands. If he lost this chance, he felt the feeling that he would never be saved. Just then, his chance came. Vex placed both of his hands on Izuku's face as he pulled him upward uh, by his face. Izuku's heart skipped in fear of being found out as he took the chance to slide the phone underneath his thigh, hiding the movement as he was forced to sit up. It took every muscle in his body to stop his whimpers from the hurt he felt. Huh. You're really out of it, Vex said happily. Guess I'll let you be. If suffering and pain makes that expression on your face look this good. Izuku hoped he'd forgotten about the phone. Vex just stood up, brushing his pants. As he threw Izuku back onto the ground, he murmured to himself, Maybe I'll buy something new to try. He started chuckling to himself, closing the door behind him. He let out a breath he didn't know he was holding. Good job, Deku. He continued to stay still, straining his ears. He heard another door click. Fuck, fuck. He could almost cry if tears were not already streaming down his face. His complacency will be his downfall, Uzuku thought to himself, spitefully. Struggling to sit up, he slipped on the red, red, red around him, face hitting the ground again, and he almost puked out the meager fluids in his stomach at the metallic tang that wafted up his nose. Uzuku laid there for a while, vision blacking out occasionally as his body screamed in pain. He could hear himself making loud wheezing sounds in a pathetic attempt to breathe. 
Get your stupid ass up, idiot. The fucker won't be gone forever. He willed himself not to faint. Izuku moved his wary arms, placing his palms firmly onto the ground and ignoring the blood as he sat up slowly. He squeezed his eyes shut as everything spun. Izuku took the phone from under his thigh. The lock screen of his phone blinked up at him, and he cried loudly when he saw the faces of his friends. It was smudged with blood. Izuku sniffled as he tried to wipe the blood away to see them properly, only to smudge it even more with his bloody fingers. Wouldn't it be ironic if he drowned his phone in his own blood? Izuku couldn't help but let out a few hysteric giggles. He missed them. It felt like he hadn't seen them in forever. Deku, unlock the phone. Izuku's fingers shook as he tried to press his thumb on the fingerprint scanner. The phone didn't respond. Oh yeah, he thought almost hysterically. Blood. He wiped his thumb on his pants, willing the phone to respond this time. A soft click. He vaguely tapped around his home screen, trying to remember where the GPS option was. He would try to read, but he really couldn't see right now. The screen looked so blurry that the words merged and swirled in front of him. He managed to maneuver to GPS screen with shaky hands, turning it on. Or he thought he did. He couldn't really confirm it. What's next? Izuku tried to think. He should probably inform someone. There was only one person on his mind. He had to know if he was okay. He pressed on the number without hesitation, his bloody hands almost dropping the phone as he raised it to his ear. Bastard, you dare to fucking call me? I'm gonna kill you! Kachan! He hiccuped, feeling his heart soar at the familiar voice. He knew it was not just in his head this time. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Kachan is safe. Vex was lying. Oh my God. Kachan. Fuck. Deku. Okay, so that was it for this chapter. That It's amazing. He's gonna get saved soon. I'm just so happy. This is like a good cutoff. It's like, you know that he's gonna get saved. They're gonna find his GPS location. Because he put on the GPS before calling. And it's like, yay. I'm just so happy. Poor baby needs a break. <laughs> he needs a break. Because, <laughs> no. But if you want to see more of this, you know what to do.